any shortage of these ones. Huh.
Allow me. I could do that for you. Sorry. Never expects creatures like those, really. <laughs> First day they come and catch everyone. Second day they beat us and need some of them. Fifth day they return and it's another girl. Sixth day her screams we hear in our dream. Seventh day she grew as in her mouth they spew. Eighth day we hate it as she is violated. Ninth day she grins. And devours her king. Now she does feast. First day they come and catch everyone. What is this? A human? Bland and unlikely. Feeding time brings only kin and clan. I am cruel to myself. You are a dream of strangers' faces and open doors. First day they come and catch everyone. Corruption. The men did that. Their wounds festered and their minds left. They are like dogs, marched ahead, the first to die. Not us, not me, not Laren. We are not cut. We are fed. Friends, and flesh, and blood. 
in bile, and and all I could do was wish Laren went first. I wished it upon her so that I would be spared, but I had to watch. I had to see the change. How do you endure that? How did Branca endure? D do not talk of Branca, of what she did. Ancestors preserve us. Forgive me. I was her captain, and I didn't stop her. Her lover, and I could not turn her. Forgive her. But no, she cannot be forgiven. Not for what she did. Not for what she has become. I... I will not speak of her. What she did, of what we have become, I will not turn. I will not become what I have seen. Not Laren, not Branca. She became obsessed. I think so. We tried to escape, but they found us. They took us all. Turned Ooh, us. Lamar. I thought it would have fallen into dust by now. Time for more practice. They made her eat the others, our friends. She tore off her blood, drank his blood. And well. 
all she ate. She grew. She swelled and turned gray. And she smelled like them. They remade her in their image. Then she made more of them. Brood-mother. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's where they come from. That's why they hate us. That's why they need us. That's why they take us. That's why they feed us. But the true abomination is not that it occurred, but that it was allowed. Branca, my love. The stone has punished me, dream friend. I am dying of something worse than death. Betrayal. Is anywhere. This has to be it. She will not be unprepared. What was that? Let me be blunt with you. After all this time, my tolerance for social graces is fairly limited. That doesn't bother you, I hope. Shave my back and call me an elf! Bronca! By the stone, I barely recognized you! Ogryn, it figures you'd eventually find your way here. Hopefully you can find your way back more easily. And how shall I address you? Hired sword of the latest lordling to come looking for me? Or just the only one who didn't mind Ogryn's ale breath? Be respectful, woman. You're talking to a Grey Warden. Ah, so an important errand boy, then. I suppose something serious has happened. Is Enrin dead? That seems most likely. He was on the old and wheezy side. A king won't defeat a blight. We've had 40 generations of kings and lost everything. I don't care if the assembly puts a drunken monkey on the throne. Because our protector, our great invention, the thing that once made our armies the envy of the world, is lost to the very dark spawn it should be fighting. The Anvil of the Void, the means by which the ancients forged their army of golems and held off the first archdemon ever to rise. It's here, so close I can taste it. The anvil lies on the other side of a gauntlet of traps designed by Keradin himself. My people and I have given body and soul to unlocking its secrets. This is what's important. This has lasting meaning. If I succeed, the dwarven people benefit. Kings, politics, all that is transitory. I've given up everything and would sacrifice anything to get the anvil of the void. Enough questions. If you wish me to get involved with this imbecilic election, I must first have the anvil. There's only one way out, Warden. Forward. Through Keridan's maze, 
and out to where the anvil waits. What has this place done to you? I remember marrying a girl you could talk to for one minute and see her brilliance. I am your paragon. I needed people to test Keridan's traps. There's no way to break through except for... Well, I sent them in. They were all mine. Pledged to be my house. And they didn't want to help. They tried to... Yes. <laughs> Because anywhere, 
This has to be it. She will not be unprepared. Oh, shit. Ugh. And... The... Ah, so... The Anvil of the Void. The me... The... I've given up everything, and would sacrifice anything to get the an... Enough. If... There's a... What has this place done to you? I remember. I needed people to test Keratin's traps. There's no way to break through it. Well, I sent them in. They were all mine. Pledged to be my house. And they didn't want to help. They tried to... And I'm off. Yes. Yes. Now let's see which one first. Which one first.
do that for you.
My name is Carrigan. Once, longer ago than I care to think, I was a paragon to the dwarves of Borzomar. If you seek the anvil, then you must care about my story, or be doomed. Though I made many things in my time, I rose to fame and earned my status based on a single item, the Anvil of the Void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone as flexible and clever as any soldier. As an army, they were invincible, but I told no one the cost. No mere smith, however skilled, has the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. So said my king. I had only intended to use volunteers, but he was not satisfied, and soon a river of blood flowed out of this place. Finally, it was too much. I refused. And so Valtor had me put on the anvil next. Not revenge. The blow of the hammer opened my eyes. My apprentices knew enough to make me as I am, but not enough to fashion a control rod. I retained my mind. We have remained entombed here ever since, and I have sought a way to destroy the animal. Alas, I cannot do it myself. No golem can touch it. No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! You! Please! Help me destroy the anvil! Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has! Don't listen! He's been trapped here for a thousand years, stewing in his own madness. Help me claim the anvil, and you will have an army like you've never seen! Franca, you mad, bleeding nugtail! Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? The anvil will let us take back our glory! Thank you, stranger. Your compassion shames me. No! You will not take it! Not while I still live! Bronca, don't throw your life away for this! Just give her the blasted thing! She's confused! Maybe once she calms down, we can talk to her. Bah! You're not the only Master Smith here, Carradin. Golems, obey me! Attack! A control rod? But, my friend, you must help me! I cannot stop her alone! We might want to walk back to Yes.
Another life lost because of my invention. I wish no mention of it had made it into history. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Stupid woman. Always knew the anvil would kill her. But at least it ends here. I thank you for standing with me, stranger. The anvil waits there for you to shatter it. It was good to meet you, Paragon. I intend to ensure that your warnings about the Golems are heard by the Circle of Magi. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? For the aid you've given me, I shall put hammer to steel one last time and give you a crown for the king of your choice. Trust in all Tungsha. May you always find your way in the dark. Pretty much beat the sod out of how I imagined it. You ready to head back yet and share the news? Yeah, those Deshiers have been trying to destroy the city for years. Haven't managed yet. Lords of the Assembly, I call for order! This argument gets us nowhere. Then why these delaying tactics? I call for a vote right now! My father has one living child to assume the Idukan throne. Who would deny him that? Your father made me swear on his deathbed you would not succeed him. 
I apologize for the interruption, Lord Steward, but the Grey Warden has returned. We should let the Warden speak. What news do you bring? Keridan was trapped in the body of a golem. This Warden granted him the mercy he sought, releasing him and destroying the Anvil of the Void. Before he died, Keridan forged a crown for Orzammar's next king, chosen by the ancestors themselves. And we are supposed to trust this? The word of a drunken sot and a Grey Warden known to be in Harrowmont's pocket? Silence! This crown is a paragon make, and bears House Hortan's ancient seal. Tell us, Warden, whom did Keridan choose? I appreciate your forthrightness, Warden. You have acted with grace through this entire torturous process. find you worthy. First amidst the lords of the houses, the king of Osman. I will not abide by this! The ancestors have spoken! Would you let a surfacer decide the fate of the dwarves? Watch out! They brought weapons! Guards! Now let's see, which one first? You will fall! All right. The vote is soon and the deep roads long. I would leave now if you don't. I admit I did not think even Balin would defy the word of a paragon, nor that so many would follow him. But most of Orzammar has seen him for what he really is, and I trust we will bring this insurgency under control. I prefer to be known as a just and compassionate king. Strong too often comes to mean tyrannical, but I will not leave this uprising unpunished. Those loyal to the throne will begin preparations for a surface mission immediately. Orzammar will fulfill its treaties. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get to the palace and set our plans in motion. This is the staff I carried as King Andrin II. Take it as a reminder of your place in Orzammar. I wish you luck against the Blight Warden. May we foster another four centuries of peace. Your role in this election will long be remembered. The assembly is in recess until King Harold is president. Oh, it's a 
You are stone carved, Warden. I've never seen them. If I'd heard it secondhand, I'd have called it a sodding lie. Warden, we've got a king because of you. The rest, impressive. But the Legion is grateful most for restored leadership. It frees us to fight to the Darkspawn properly. Nay, our place is down here. When you break the blight, and you've got the skill, we'll make sure they have nowhere to retreat. You'll have us indirectly. That's more than any surfacer can say. You alone have the skill to back up your words. Each of the Legion owes our homeland a death, but if our lives are better shed on the surface, so be it. Back to Orzammar when we win, though. I'll not stay topside to lose my stone sense. of the hour. Lord Valen attacks the assembly and is
give me a moment. Of course everything's all right. Yeah. Uh, just give me one sodding moment. By the stone. I feel like I'm about to fall off the world with all that sky up there. Fine, you're the Grey Warden. about all those mages in Lake Kalanhot. They have been turned into a pack of demons. Oh. My. I did not expect it to be this crowded. <laughs> 